Ladies and gentlemen, in this moment, we, we want to welcome you once again as we are going to hear the word of God in the name of our Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's prepare as we are going to hear the word of God. Because the word of God is living The word of God is power Whenever we hear the word of God We gain life Whenever we hear the word of God We get strength So always go on the platform of Entebbe Miracle Center And hear the word of God and your life will not remain the same in the name of our Lord Jesus mighty God the God of our Lord Jesus we want to thank you even today we want to thank you for the month of June that you decided to visit us using the angels we want to thank you because it's the same month of June whereby you visited Mary same month, my Lord. The month of uh, June. Elizabeth. That you visited Elizabeth. And when you visited them, Lord. Say through your angel Gabriel. With the message. And they delivered babies. Elizabeth, Elizabeth gave birth to John. A powerful John. A powerful prophet. And when you went to Mary after sending Gabriel we see Gabriel saying to Mary that he shall give birth to a savior and Lord we thank you because the savior was born to us we have seen him helping us we have seen him giving us life we have seen him delivering us we thank you for that message that you sent through angel Gabriel in the sixth month in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. Amen ladies and gentlemen all of you listening to us we are still going on speaking about the angels the sixth month we have seen that it is when the Lord sent two angels in two families in the name of Jesus even today we are going to see God the person he sent an angel to he was in prison he was in prison after some time in prison Acts of the Apostles chapter 12 that's where we want to begin from in the name of our Lord Jesus we are speaking about the ministry of angels don't forget that the Bible says in Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 1 and verse 14 that the angels are the spirits that minister to us they are the spirits angels are spirits that the Lord decided to create the angels they do a lot of things but one way for one reason why God put their angels that they may minister to his children that they may minister to those that will inherit the kingdom of God so the angels are there they are here to minister to us to serve us and to minister in us no we who are going to inherit the kingdom of God if you are not yet born again this month of June it is time you 
give your life to Christ. When we speak about the angels, that you may also benefit. That you may also benefit in the name of Jesus. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 12. Let's begin from verse 1. In Jesus' name. The Bible tells us that there was a lot of persecution to, uh, to the disciples of Jesus when Herod was persecuting them. Herod. <laughs> he was persecuting the disciples of Jesus because they were preaching the gospel because they were speaking about Jesus the Bible says that Herod got to arrested James James was one of the ministers of the Lord he was a powerful minister Herod arrested him and put him into prison and brought him out and cut off his head the Bible says it amused the Jews in that season because of the act Herod had done and Herod said I'm going to arrest Peter also he also got hold of Peter it was the day of Passover. And he got hold of him. And put him in prison. Passover, after that, this Passover day has passed. Feast of the Passover. After it is over. I'll get out Peter I'll also behead him and I'll behead him but let me first put him in prison the Bible says he put him in prison I put him under 16 guards 16 guards they were guarding one person but the Bible says where our message is begins from verse 5 verse 9 Verse 5. Peter therefore was kept in prison, but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. Again, a mass. Verse and, 6. And when Herod would have brought him forth, the same night Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains, and the keepers before the door kept the prison. And behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him and a light shined in the prison and he, and he smoked Peter on the side and he raised him up saying, Arise up quickly and his chains fell off from his hands. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, Peter was in prison. Have you ever been in prison? You may not have been in uh, this normal prison. Like the prison of Ruzira. Like Entebbe prison. But there is a prison where you are. A prison of death. A prison of poverty. A prison of shame. Ladies and gentlemen, we've come to tell you that God is about to send your an angel that is going to deliver you from that prison in the name of Jesus. Don't forget that the whole of this month of June it is a prophetic month. We are under the prophetic anointing. We are going to preach as we prophesy. In the name of Jesus. Peter was in prison. The angel of the Lord came. What makes the difference? Now, towards a person in prison. Is the angel of the Lord. Money may not help you. When you are in prison. 
a person may not help you even your father may not be able to help you but what will make a difference this month of June is God sending you an angel and deliver you from prison say Lord deliver me you who delivered Peter when the Lord had imprisoned him when he had put him under 16 guards guards not guardian, but God. Abakumi. Put him under 16 guards. But I want to tell you. The angel of the Lord. When he entered in the prison. He came with shining. He came with the glory of the Lord. He came with the power of the Lord. He came with the instructions from God. And he tapped on Peter. Peter. And I woke him up. And he said, Peter, this your time of being in the prison today has ended. Ladies and gentlemen, our time of being in prison is ending in the name of Jesus. I've said your time of being in prison is ending this month of June. Believe me to clap your hands to the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. One night. At night. The night that followed that night when the angel came in the Peter prison. Peter was in prison. He was in prison. And knowing he didn't know he was able to get out of the prison because the news had already spread to him that your brother James your friend James the one you've been preaching the message with Herod has already been heading him Peter had no hope saying let me sleep and believed to be beheaded by heaven but the good thing I'm going to have but ladies and gentlemen though you are in prison though you are in prison though you are in pain this month of June there is still hope there is still hope Peter, there is still hope. You woman in pain, there is still hope. You who was uh, chased away from your home, there is still hope. You can still return to your home. Your widow. There is still hope. You girl that was disappointed. There is still hope. The angels are coming. The angel, the angel is coming in the sixth month. He is coming with hope. The hope says, Peter, Peter, though yesterday you slept in the prison and your hands were bound and the legs were bound and they dumped you down there and put you on the squad of soldiers there is still hope the Lord is going to send an angel he is going to deliver you in the name of Jesus say I'm going to be delivered I'm going to be delivered we are going to be delivered Uganda there is still hope Uganda there is still hope pastors there is still hope ministers of God there is still hope though we are still in lockdown the angel is coming the angel is coming and it is called president it is going to deliver us where COVID-19 had blessed us that we may go back to our churches and now praise hey, to the Lord. Gamba say I'm getting out. Peter had lost hope. But we who grew up in from Ruero Triangle we used to move over dead bodies you could see a corpse there and you just 
jump over it and run away. And then you see someone being beheaded. And then you see they cut the other person. They cut the other person. You also run away. But there is still hope. If we are still living. We are the Peter. We are also going to leave. Though your husband died. Though your neighbor has died of HIV AIDS. Even if your neighbor has died of COVID-19. You still have hope. The angel is coming. The angel is coming. People listening to us. On the platform of Entebbe Miracle Center. We want to inform you. That our God. Sent an angel. To the life of Peter. He can still send an angel to you and deliver you. Let him deliver me. They bound his arm. Pastor said that this Gabriel may not come. You may say, Let me wait for Angel Gabriel to come. Oh, Michael. You may not see him. But there is an angel. John. <laughs> that is called John. There is an angel. That is called Justin. There is an angel. That is called Christine. There is an angel. That is called Lydia. That is the one that is going to use to deliver you from where you are from. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. And this month of June, the Lord has sent angels from Entebbe Miracle Center. He has anointed them and he has said to them, Go and prophesy to my people using the anointing of the Holy Spirit as you prophesy to them, as you deliver them. This month of June, I'm going to deliver you. I'm going to deliver you. And now praise to the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. David said, The enemy has smitten me. And he has dumped me down. And put me in the dark place and I'm like destroyed long time ago. The enemy struck David after beating him. And he dumped him down after putting him down. Then he, he dug a pit and placed him in the pit when he was still living. You are joking with us. Devil. devil, you are joking. But the angel is coming. But the Bible says that the hand of the Lord brought me up. He brought me up and placed me high. Ladies and gentlemen, though you were thrown where, though you were kept somewhere, though someone forgot about you, though your husband forgot about you, though your name was forgotten, this month, as you're coming up, your name is going to come out. In the name of let it come out. There are angels that are going to bring out your name. You like applications. You applied for jobs. applications. Some of you applied for jobs. And you made applications. And you placed in every Not company. You took it to the UN. Not take you took it to the airport. Not take and you put your Your papers. And they were go, they were they received them. They received them and threw them away. Them and ladies and gentlemen, the Lord is going to touch someone. That person who threw away your papers is the one that is going to look for them. After looking for them and find them, then he will call you and say, Are you Isaac? Are you the one who applied? I've seen your application. Today, 
I want you to come and meet me. Ladies and gentlemen, angels are coming. They are coming. They are coming in your family. They are coming at your place of work. They are coming in our ministry. They are coming in our churches. Applause to the Lord. Say, Lord, let them come. Lord, let them come. Can I prophesy? May I prophesy? The one that dumped you in a pit. The one that uh, the one that refused to give you capital the one who chased you from your place of is the one that is going to call you back this month of June is going to call you back I remember we are in Sironko our pastor Kayanja has taken us Kayanja Fred Kayanja Fred yari atu tre Sironko kuburida. Pastor Kayanja Fred had taken us to Sironko to preach. Yari organizing a yari organizing the conference. He had organized a certain conference. Na Twitter to gende to to where is it? He invited us to go and minister. Nari mburida went. I was preaching. Nengamba tu walu amuntu wan. And I said there's somebody here. Ba kugoba kumulimu. You were chased away from your job. Nengamba wasuwa mafuta gomo yamutu. And I said under the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Eya kugoba. The one that chased you away. Yagendo kuku bere simu. He's going to call you. Nga kuyita. Calling you back. He will say, Come back. As we were still in the same service, <laughs> I was still on the pulpit. And then we saw somebody holding a phone, picking a phone, and went out. You know, sometimes you don't want some people who go out one, while you are watching. But this man looked at the phone call and she, he went out. I remained preaching. And I started prophesying. As we are prophesying this month of service. Immediately after the service. And the man went to Kayanja. He was our boss. <laughs> and he said, Do you know? My boss has called me while in the service. Yes. He said I should go and meet him. He has said I should go in back and work. In the midst of the service. That's when the miracle <laughs> knocked <laughs> you. Ladies and gentlemen, this month of June, there is a miracle. The angels are going to bring in your life. We preach under the prophetic anointing. It is up to you to take it. This man took it. He was chased away from job. And he was no longer receiving a salary. He had lost hope. But the anointing of God. That is brought by the angels. When it came to Sri Lanka. The man returned to his job. And let me prophesy in the name of Jesus. You woman. You man. You woman I see. That was retrenched. I command you to return to your job in the name of Jesus. You woman. There is one whose car was taken away in the name of Jesus. Prophesy under the anointing of God. The one who took away that vehicle from you and sold it and gave it to another person. The same God using the same person as an angel. That same person is going to buy for you a new Applause to the Lord. I've seen it. There is someone's car which was taken from me. It was given to another person. But the Lord is saying that very person that took it from you is, is the same person the Lord is going to use as an angel to buy that and car and it is going to be better than the first one and applause to the Lord Amen Peter was like dreaming he was like dreaming but the angel had come it had come to deliver him the bible says he was bound his 
hands were bound. You are not able to scratch your skin. You are not able to scratch yourself. You are not able to eat. The hands are bound. But ladies and gentlemen The Bible says When the angel entered in the prison The chains broke by themselves What the devil does He ties your hands Whatever you do It dies The money you touch It it goes away. It gets problems. Your hands are bound. The hands are bound. But the angel is coming. The power of the Lord is coming. It is going to deliver those hands. The hands the devil had which the devil had bound in in the word of the Lord says I am the Lord your God that gives you strength to become rich and the Bible says I shall bless the works of your hands whatever you shall lay your hands on it shall be blessed now what the devil did what hello did is to bind the hands of Peter and he said let me bind his hands so that he may not preach any longer whatever he shall touch shall perish that he may not be rich again but ladies and gentlemen there is an angel from God he is going to and lose your hands that witchcraft which, which was put in Malaika your hands the angel of the Lord Agenda is going to deliver you in the name of our Lord Jesus bring an applause to the Lord bring an applause to the Lord say angel come as we are winding up we are winding up the angel of the Lord say to him Peter rise up Yambala. Dress up Yambala Dress up with your robes Yambala coat yo. Put on your coat Teka tozo. Put on your sandals Bible gamba etia. The Bible says Bible gamba. The Bible tells us All I think Peter. When Herod arrested Peter Yamuambula. He undressed him Bible gamba. The Bible says Obandoza. I think Bible Peter when they arrested Peter they undressed him they undressed him from his, 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 his coat that he was putting on and even the sandals and ladies and gentlemen the word of the Lord says in the book of Zachariah chapter 3 and he said my servant Zachariah I'm going to send you an angel He shall undress you from rags He shall undress you from the old garments And address you with the new garments Ladies and gentlemen Though the devil undressed you And left you naked he undressed your business family and your family naked and left your husband naked and everything was naked there is an angel which the Lord has sent that is going to dress you again I am dressing up in the we are going to be dressed with a blessing we are going to be dressed with a new anointing we are going to be dressed with new favor we are going to dress with the goodness of the Lord We are going to dress with the glory of the Lord I we are going to dress with favor I said you are being dressed with your favor Be dressed, be dressed The angel said Peter You have been naked you have been dressed with prisoners clothes. I've come To undress you from the rags I've come To undress you From the 
take off the prisoner's clothing Oyambare. and dress Engoyezo. your clothes when the angel of the Lord appears he comes with a new garment he takes away the rags and dresses us with a new garment the new garment of salvation the new garment of God in the name of Jesus and now proud to the Lord say Lord dress me Sorry. I'm tired of rags. I'm tired of the prison dresses. Dress me in the name of Hallelujah. Jesus. Amen. Amen. We want to thank the Lord. In the name of our Lord Jesus. And we have, as we have been speaking from Monday, do something in this month of June. Concerning number six. Uh within the number six you can read your bible six times a day you can help six people you can sow a seed in number six you may sow a seed of six thousand you may sow a seed of sixty thousand you may sow a seed of sixty thousand you may sow a seed of six million you may sow a seed of six hundred thousand the God of Abraham will multiply every seed that you are going to sow and he shall touch the angels to bring in your bosom more than the seed that you sow in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. Amen Thank you for listening to us I remain your minister and your sister here from Entebbe Miracle Center we love you so much we are praying for you may God richly bless you in Jesus name Amen Amen